All right, let's find out what happens. Chapter 9, what happened at the Cheese Squeeze Club? The mice stared in horror at Silverside's face. The next moment, when the opposite wall fell in and Gray Bar's eyes and whiskers appeared, chaos erupted. The club was filled with squeaking, screaming, running, hopping, leaping mice rushing as one toward the single available exit. But the opening was far too narrow to accommodate the crush. Mice were pushed, shoved, and trampled. Only a few managed to even escape. When the remaining mice tried to find another way out, they were confronted by the two cats calling out, Cats rule! Mice out! Rodents retreat! Felines first! But first, Ragweed was too bewildered to do anything but gape in at the wild confusion before him. But when Graybar leaped into the middle of the milling mice and began pouncing and biting, a terrified Ragweed shrank back into a corner. From there, he looked toward the platform where the B-flat tires had been playing. Stip Dipstick was leaping straight up and down, squeaking raucous insults at the cats. Lugnut crouched behind his bass guitar as if he, it were a shield against possible attack. As for Clutch, she was holding her guitar by its neck, clearly willing to use it as a weapon. They looked upon her face with nothing less than ferocious. Two cats, 45 mice. Despite the numbers, the mice, overwhelmed by both the suddenness and the ruthlessness of the cat's attack, put up very little resistance. Instead, they tried desperately to get away. The two cats, grinning and howling with glee, were catching and tossing mice about at will. One blow of a cat's paw and another poor mouse was earlier lit, either laid low or tossed across the room like a beanbag. Not all the mice were so passive. When Clutch saw Silverside step on a mouse, young mouse's tail and gradually draw in her victim as if it were reeling in a fish, she, sh she leaped up from the platform and bent on rescue, dashed forward. Coming close to the cat, she hauled back her guitar and swung it with all of her might, smacking Silversides right on her nose. There was a loud plunk. The guitar string snapped. The guitar shuddered. Taken by surprise, Silversides removed her paw from her victim's tail and touched her nose to see if anything was broken. The freed mouse leaped away and was lost in the crowd. Surprised as well as smarting, the white cat searched for her attacker. She did not have to look very far. An irate clutch stood before her, holding the fragmented instrument in her paws. Hey, you thick dude! Why don't you trash someone your own size? She screamed with no apparent thought for her own safety. Like, we've got just as much right to be here as you do. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying, you vulgar mouth vermin, Silversides retorted. Shooting out a paw, she smacked clutch broadside, hurling the green-headed mouse back up against the wall. Clutch hit hard, slid to the floor, and lay motionless, eyes closed. Only her earring was moving, swinging back and forth like a pendulum. Ragweed, who had seen it all, gasped. He was sure Clutch had been killed. Silverside seemed to be to think otherwise. Gathering herself up, she peered, she prepared to leap upon the mouse and deliver a finishing blow. Clutch shook her head groggily and opened her eyes. She made an effort to rise, but was apparently incapable of getting up. Silversides was grinning at her, ready to spring. One moment, Ragweed was relieved to see that Clutch was alive. The next moment, he saw what was about to happen, and he was appalled. Barely thinking, he snatched up Clutch's skateboard and ran to his new friend's side. Silversides, mouth open, so wide her gullet was fully exposed, took a flying leap at Clutch. Ragweed lifted the skateboard over his head to protect himself and his friend. Down came Silversides, mouth wide. Feeling her hot breath on his ears, Ragweed shoved the skateboard into the cat's mouth. The cat tried to close her jaws, but could not. Her mouth was wedged open by the skateboard. There's a mouse. <laughs> a little guitar there all shattered up. Huh? Didn't think that worked very well, did it? Taken by surprise, the cat uttered a throaty shriek and rolled over on her side. Kicking desperately, she tried to get the board out of her mouth, but it stayed stuck. Across the room, Graybar looked around and saw Silversides writhing about on the floor. Momentarily forgetting the bra, he limped over to his companion. Hey, babe, what's the matter? What are you saying? I, oh, ugh. It was all Silversides could manage. Not understanding what had happened, Graybar just laughed. I, oh, ugh, Silversides shrieked. Finally, Graybar understood. He knelt and tried to pry the skateboard from his friend's mouth. 
Seeing that the cats were occupied, Ragweed snatched one of Clutch's paws and gave it a yank. Come on! He cried. Run for it! Clutch staggered to her feet. Led by Ragweed, the two pushed their way through the mob of mice who were trying to frantically to get out of the room. Fortunately, the walls smashed by the cats provided new avenues for escape. Mice were streaming away to safety. Dragging a dazed clutch after him, Ragweed plunged through one of the holes in the walls.